Okay, hi. Uh, I have a website. It's called PointlessTraveler.com. I'm wearing a thermostatic jacket. I've been wanting to make a video about this jacket, and I just realized that I could do it with my with my laptop here. Anyway, I'm laying on top of the Outdoor Research Bug Bivy with the XPad UL Basic Air Air Pad Air Mat, and I'm wearing the thermostatic jacket, and uh, I have a mixed review about the thermostatic jacket. Um, I thought that it would be my go-to jacket for a trip to Europe. I'm going to use my bivouac and I'm going to stay in Europe without checking into a hotel. I'm going to have everything ultralight inside of my Gossamer Gear minimalist pack with uh, my sleep system in, in a Diddy on one side and a Cuban Diddy and then my whole entire wardrobe on the other Cuban Diddy with a solar panel across the top with the Fuji XE2 at the top. Uh, the whole entire sleep system is about 12 liters, and the whole entire um, uh, wardrobe is like maybe 6 or 7 liters. And it's an 18 liter pack, so there's plenty of space. But, uh, so anyway, I, I'm not going to be able to use this jacket, the thermostatic jacket, for the trip. And part of the reason is it takes about 24 hours for the loft to come back in the... In the um, and the synthetic fill that's inside of here. And uh, the way that it all went down was I put my Marmot Zeus jacket into the uh, washer dryer. I had an old Marmot that was really warm. I would use it on my motorcycle during the winter time. But if I washed it, the down would get clumpy and it also had terrible stains around the collar. So I was hesitant to wash this new Zeus that I have. But it did so well in the washer dryer, it actually looked a lot better after I took it out of the wash. Uh, so I was really excited about it. And I'll show it to you. My Zeus is right here. It's awesome. As you can tell, it's shiny. I just washed this. And uh, the down in here is not treated. The Zeus Marmot, it doesn't have water-resistant treated down in it. It has regular down in it. And that's sort of what they're saying is that you don't need water resistant down anymore to get a jacket that can handle the washer dryer. And it's really true, especially with the Zeus. Like, water resistant down, it only lasts 20 washes, which is like a lifetime of the jacket. But this doesn't even have water resistant down in it, and you can wash her and dry it easily. I mean, I didn't even pay any attention to this. I washed it just the same as a sweatshirt, and it's totally awesome. I love it. I, use it. I just put it on myself, I use it as a blanket. So anyway, I got excited about the quality of this Marmot Zeus, and I decided to do the same thing with a thermostatic. And I had my thermostatic packed away. I was going to just use it in my Gossamer Gear Minimalist pack. But there's a few things about it that disappointed me. First of all, it's not compressible enough at all. This material, this nylon, I don't know what denier it is. It feels like 10 denier. But... When, when it's laid on top of each other, this thing just doesn't pack down very small. It actually is the same size as the Zeus. The Zeus obviously has got like, it's got like about a centimeter, maybe even two centimeters of loft to it of down, 800 fill down. This has got like a millimeter, maybe two millimeters of loft in it. It's got cold spots around the chest and the shoulders. It takes about 24 hours for the loft to come back. So I put this in the washer dryer. When I took it out of the dryer after about 10 minutes, it already had shrunk. When you first get it, uh, it's got kind of like this glossy ink on it. And it kind of looks like, like a Beastie Boys hip-hop jacket. And it kind of looks like pleather almost. It's got like this kind of oily, glossy feel to it. Put it in the washer dryer and quickly, the color I think has changed. The nylon has been compromised. And I thought that I had melted the really fine hairs of the synthetic fill that's in it. All that was left was the thick stalks of the synthetic fill, which made it feel really clumpy. So I wore it. It, it had lost a lot of its je ne sais quoi. I mean, it didn't really look like a hip-hop jacket that I could wear anymore. The whole idea of it, I was going to wear it to like nightclubs in Paris and stuff like that. And it really kind of looked like a hip-hop video jacket. After one wash, the... the, the uh, Materials were compromised to such an extent that it just doesn't look like a really kick-ass jacket anymore. It looks okay. I mean, it's wearable. It kind of looks like a casual sweater, like a sweater jacket, but uh, it's not warm, really. It works great as a windbreaker. 
It's a really like a like a windbreaker on steroids. It blocks the wind. It also warms up in the sun, and it locks body heat inside. And after about 24 hours, the loft comes back, but there's like about a millimeter or two millimeters of loft here, and it's just not enough. If it cools off and gets cold, if the temperature drops in the 50s, this jacket is not warm. Uh, so I can't use it as a go-to because I need to pack it into my minimalist most of the time. And uh, it's going to be packed down really, really tight. And that's just not going to work. I'll show you if you continue to watch this. Okay, I'll take off this thermostatic and I'll pack it up. All right, first of all, it's extremely light, and that's great. It's an awesome windbreaker. It's really light. I'm not going to complain about it too much. I mean, it's fine. It's a handsome jacket, it's just not the ultimate. So anyway, let's turn this inside out and just pack this up real quick. All right, I just... When you pack up this thermostatic, you can rip the threads. You gotta be a little bit cautious. Because it's an ultralight, it's an ultralight material. The thread isn't super strong. You gotta be a little bit careful when you pack this away. So here, I'm gonna zip this shut. Okay, so here it is, okay, all right, that's, that's about five or six liters. This is not small, okay. I just ordered, to replace this, I just ordered the True uh, Polar Shift, which is made out of uh, Prima Loft 1, and um, I'm guessing that it's smaller than this. This is about six liters. That's not small. Let me pack, this is 800 Phil Zeus. All right, let me just put this on for a second. Okay, this is a huge jacket. You could go skydiving at night in the winter time with this jacket on. You can you ride a motorcycle, drive a thousand cc motorcycle in the winter time at night with this jacket on without anything else on. It's super warm. Totally different kind of jacket, and it and it's it handles water. There's nothing wrong with it. The old Marma, it couldn't handle water. The new one, it can. Okay, I don't even know what the thermal called like uh, thermophobic or something down that's treated for water this isn't even that I don't even know what that does they've got it in 800 850 now um, this is just 800 fill but what I want to show you is that the marmot Zeus packs down to the same size as the thermostatic and that's really why I'm not gonna be able to use the thermostatic as a go-to for my ultra lightweight travel plans Alright, so here's the Zeus, okay? Pretty small. I mean, this is tight. It doesn't really compress any much more. But look at the difference between the thermostatic and the Zeus. This is the ultralight. It's supposed to be ultra packable. It isn't. Alright, now let's say if I scrunch this down, I'm going to fold it in half. Okay? Here's the Zeus, and here's the thermostatic side by side. They're the same. Okay, this one you can wear in the snow. You could. You can get drunk in the middle of the night in a blizzard with the Zeus. You can't even go outside if it drops down to like, if it drops below 60, you can't even wear this. All right, so what's the point? They're the same size, exactly the same. This is 800 Goose. This is Mountain Hardware's own um, synthetic fill. Now, I know that Mountain Hardware is like the best brand in the world. I'm from Moran in, in, in California, Northern California, and... Uh, you know, during the 90s and the early 90s, I heard that Mountain Hardware is the best brand ever. You know, and I'm sure that it is. I'm not trying to be too harsh. But let's face it, they're exactly the same. I mean, you know, this marmot is packed pretty tight. It really isn't too much more compressible. But it's small. I'm not going to bring this with me because I'm going to Europe during the summer. There's no reason for me to bring a, a snow jacket. But this is too big. This is really like a travel pillow. And even if I compress it down even more, you know, it's, it's just not that small. All right, thank you.